Okay, Vera, so you've named your, your first squad today. Can you tell us a little bit about the background that went into putting together this 23-player squad? Yeah, there was a very uh, special situation, of course, because um, I had not been working with the players um, and I had to do it from video, but especially from talking to people. And I'm really, really grateful that everybody was so open. I started, of course, with Rue Doctor. Um, I was very impressed by the knowledge that he had about um, not only the, the, the structure of women's football, but the players themselves. The, the, he, he knows them really, really well and knows their qualities and, and also what they're not so good at. Um, but of course, then uh, I discussed players with uh, Sue Ronan, who has been previous national coach um, and has a pro license, is now head of women's football. Um, and then we appointed Eileen Gleason. Um, and Eileen has massive knowledge and experience in women's club football, um, but also all the players that are playing abroad. She follows them all, she knows them all, she knows also um, what they're capable of. Um, but then there's also the touch of the process that this team has done. And um, Dave Connell, he made, in, in that sense, he made an analysis of each individual player. He did that overnight with the, from the goalkeepers to, to the strikers and the bench. Um, so I had a good insight of the qualities of the players. Now the dynamics of the team and the process that I went through, of course there's nobody from then that can help me, only Colin Bell can do that. And um, I find it so special and um, I'm proud of that, that tomorrow I have a meeting with him and to go through it, that he's opening himself for the good of the players, for the good of the programme, and he's proud of the programme and he's proud to help us. And um, yeah, I don't think there's many situations where that happens. Um, I think it shows the atmosphere, the open and transparent atmosphere, the positive atmosphere that he has created uh, in and around the team. And um, yeah, I can only say that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of, of the way that we've done it and I think that we really have the best squad at the moment. Yeah. So with me meeting Colin tomorrow, um, are you looking, there's obviously been a lot of development in the squad in the last couple of years, are you looking to just kind of move on from, from where they left off there? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not a coach who thinks that, that I have invented the game or something. I'm, I'm going on where the previous coach has stopped. Um, so I'm going to st step on Colin's shoulders and, and, uh, and build from there and hopefully to get uh, the success that he started. Um, and if we qualify now, it's credit to him because that foundation is there and, and it's, it's a top that we need to, to grow from now. Um, so it, it is, it, it's, we will see where the players are when they come in, but I've got the feeling that I know them already. I've got the feeling that people have, have really um, stepped into a positive atmosphere to help me and um, that I know what they're capable of, uh, which is very unique, of course. The game against the Ukraine now, the Women's Euro 2021 qualifier, is a huge game uh, for this team. Um, we're looking to, to make history in Tallah Stadium and to have the biggest ever crowds there. I assume that'll be a huge help to yourself and the squad if that happens. Yeah, um, the crowd will be our 12th play, they said. Eh? Uh, but it, it's really true. The moment that you have a difficult spell in the game, the crowd can push you through. And I hope that all the girls that are playing football, that they come with, the, the, with their brothers, sisters, parents, clubs, uh, coaches, that everybody's coming, and maybe whole teams are coming, because that is what you really, really need. And if you want to succeed, if you want to have your future, uh, come, to, uh, and come to see us and, and come to support us. Um, because it will not be an easy game, it will be a very difficult game. Ukraine is ranked 12 positions higher than us, very dangerous in the counter-attack, very solid in their structures. Um, and we, yeah, we need to put really something special against them. If the crowds are there, if they push us, players will, will do things that they wouldn't know themselves, that they dare to do that. And um, that will make the difference. Irish fans are, are famous the world over. I'm sure you've encountered them before or heard yeah. of them before. Yeah. Um, that would only be a huge boost on the day. So um, I'm, I'm assuming you want you know as many Irish football fans in general from the leagues um, and the, yeah. the international teams to co come along to this game. Yeah, and, and the crowd needs to know that we will do everything to get ready for that game. Um, 
and the players are with their full mind with, their ga with that game. It's the, the crucial game for us in the qualifying uh, uh, period. And if we lose, then we have a problem. Um, so the people also need to know that they really need to support us to, to, uh, to get that result. Out of the two games, Ukraine, home and away, we need to get a positive result. And a draw and a win is a positive result. So also a draw to on the 8th of October is good. Um, win is better, of course. But uh, Germany is a step too far. We cannot expect to knock Germany from the first uh, position. They just won 8-0 from Ukraine. So we have to be realistic. They were European champions for eight times. They were world champions two times. Um, so it, it would not be realistic to aim for that part. If you aim for that part, then you will not get the result against Ukraine. Um, if we put pants on of a too big size, I always say, then it, it will sink down to your ankles, which means that at the end you will be with empty hands. A realistic approach, knowing what we can do, get everything out of that, eliminate what we're not so good at, and um, then we have the biggest chance to, to qualify. So this game on the 8th of October against Ukraine really is the, the biggest game. That's uh, a crucial game in the qualifying group. So it's, it's strange to step in and the, that the very first game is immediately the most important game of the qualifying campaign. But the players are ready. We're not st starting from scratch. Colin Bell has set a fantastic foundation. We're built on that. Uh, you will not see much, uh, many changes, and I will just work on um, getting teamwork at just every time that high level like he did in the past two years.